Right now, our top story at noon, a major crash involving a school bus shut down Highway 90 this morning. The crash happened around 8 a.m. on the eastbound lanes of Highway 90 near I-35 and Nogalitos. Ken's 5's Vanessa Croy is joining us live with an update. Vanessa. Audrey, in the last 15 minutes, we just got new details from the Bear County Sheriff's Office who say they believe it was road rage that led up to this crash with that school bus that thankfully there were no children on board at the time. Let me show you what I can see right now. It looks like deputies still have the roadway blocked off. They are working to tow another SUV that was involved in the crash. And right next to that, you see that empty school bus work. The deputies working to get that on the tow truck right now to open up this highway again. Here's what else we have learned today. Now, according to Pre-KSA, the bus was on the way to their West Center to pick up students for a field trip, but never made it. The Bear County Sheriff's Office now leading the investigation, and they say deputies say witnesses reported seeing two vehicles engaged in a road rage incident moments leading up to this crash. An SUV involved in the road rage then slammed into the school bus, causing a chain reaction. Eight vehicles, including the bus, were involved in the crash. Out here today, we saw a mangled SUV and what appeared to be firefighters using the jaws of life to rescue someone trapped inside. And another SUV slamming into the wall that divided the main lanes. According to BCSO, one person was seriously hurt in this crash, but it's unknown right now if that person was the bus driver or the other or another driver who crashed into that bus. And right now you can see the main lanes are still shut down at this hour. It's unclear how long deputies will have the freeway closed down while they finish their investigation. Right now, the eastbound, eastbound main lanes are being diverted uh, to the Nogalitos exit here uh, and around. We've seen officers at nearby intersections uh, directing traffic to control the flow of everybody trying to go around this accident out here today. For now, Audrey, we're going to send it back to you. All right. Thanks for that update, Vanessa. First year at five, a pregnant woman and her unborn twins are fighting for their lives following a road rage shooting in Palmetto. Manatee deputies say she was hit on Sunday after Vincent Steele allegedly opened fire on the truck she was riding in, angry that he had crashed while trying to pass them on Business 41. Steele now faces five counts of attempted murder and the victim has undergone multiple surgeries since the shooting. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan spoke with someone close to the family who once their identity concealed. First thing when she woke up, she said, is my mom still alive? That is the nightmare a family is now living after a drive along Business US 41 in Palmetto. I've actually seen him in the rearview mirror, um, weaving in and out of traffic. As the road merges with US 41, the family told deputies a BMW was coming up fast. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says as the driver attempted to pass their truck, he clipped it and spun out of control. When the driver of the truck pulled over to make sure everything was okay. They just started hearing gunshots and they said that they could actually hear the, the ricochets or the bullets actually hitting the vehicle and it, it stunned them. Seconds after, deputies say seven shots were fired. The driver of the truck took off but quickly made a U-turn for the hospital after realizing his pregnant fiance had been hit. We had somebody who just was being impatient, so it would appear to try to get around this truck ended up causing an accident and then taking it to a whole nother level. 50-year-old Vincent Steele of Riverview was arrested and charged with five counts of attempted murder. We know that the driver of the sedan, the BMW, our suspect, is the one who fired multiple bullets into that car. As Steele made his first court appearance, family members spoke out on his behalf. They say he was on his way back from picking up his wife at work, who was sick. My father's always been a uh, good person at heart. He's never really been an aggressor. But deputies say Steele made the choice to fire the gun. The unborn twins of the female are fighting for their lives right now, um, and if they do in fact lose that fight, he will be looking at murder charges. And those closest to the family are asking others to slow down and be patient. You don't know who's in that other car. I mean, and you don't know what life choices or what they're going on. We got to take our time. We have to, you know, we, we, there's no point in getting in a hurry, especially at five o'clock at night, whether it's a Monday or Sunday. I mean, it's all rush hour traffic in Florida. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quezon, Fox 13 News.
For now, Steele remains in the Manatee County Jail. He'll have a pretrial detention hearing Friday morning. Charges could be upgraded depending on the health of the woman and her babies. Nobody wins with road rage.